Hi, good day guys, into the new house and just came from work. Let me just jump into something a little bit more comfortable. There we go. All right guys, so today we're going to be just quickly running through my DIY kitchen uh, setup that I did. I'll show you guys what I did. It's, it's rather simple, but it works very well. But let me quickly take you through the kitchen. All right. So here's the kitchen. The reason why I put it on the left hand side is we drive on the left hand side of the road in South Africa and when you pull off the road you don't want to be have the kitchen on the road side you want to be off the road. So that's the reason for, for putting it on the left hand side. Alright, you take this out. Okay, so cups for drinking coffee. This is a very very basic setup guys, very very basic. Coffee, sugar, salt, pepper, two spices, and some toothpicks. Always handy. I've got stainless steel plates and stainless steel bowls, and also I've got stainless steel cups. However, I do keep all my cups with little, I'm not sure what this stuff is called, but anyway, cup holders. If you want to drink coffee out of this, you can use it for coffee and when it's freezing cold, it's just nicer or better on the hand. Alright. I've also got a stainless steel kettle. Works well on gas as well as in the fire. Small little kettle, cooks water quickly and that's the reason for such a small kettle. Also got a small little light here, just in the evening, so you can see what's going on in the, the kitchen. Gloves for handy for when working with fire. Always keep them close by. My basic cooking utensils it comes in a bag, rolls up that I just leave in the kitchen here. But once you get your camp. You just pop the bag, bag open and it's got two carabiners that just clips onto the vehicle here and voila you've got all your camping all your camping uti or cooking utensils here all right let me take you through a closer view here's the cups and we just keep some loose salt and pepper Ketchup in here if we need it. Okay, on the cups. These are your general gutter gutter clamps that I've just used some bungee cord. Works extremely well for keeping the cups tight. This is the other part of the gutter clamp which I've attached the, the front part of the gutter clamp and my stainless steel cups fit perfectly in there. On the plate side, when designing the, the kitchen, I just designed this part to fit for plate snack. Same with the bowls, it fits perfectly in here. And on the kettle side, it just hooks in there, and there we go. Okay, so up here. It's got a small little LED light. It just helps with a little bit of lighting in the evening. And guys, like I said, simple. A few spices, salt, pepper, a few spices, and some toothpicks, sugar, coffee, and that is the kitchen. On the next video, I will take you through my cooking station at the back, fridge, where I keep my pots and pans and basic packing system of my food. Thank you very much for watching. Keep well.